Hey everyone, I'm Daniel with Teach Kids Robotics, and today we'll be talking about Lesson 4, How Do Robots Know Where They Are? An Introduction to Mapping, Slam, and Localization. So, how do robots know where they are? First, let's consider how humans know where they are, which is using maps. Consider a map of the United States. We can often divide where we are on a map using coordinates known as latitude and longitude. With either of these two numbers, we'll know exactly where we are in the United States. Or consider on your smartphone, you can use an app like Google Maps to show you exactly where you are relative to streets around you with an exact address on the map. Now, in the same way us humans have maps that show us where we are relative to other features uh, in our surrounding, robots also have maps. But what do robot maps look like? For example, for mobile robots, 3D space is often translated into a 2D representation of the environment, with obstacles kind of sh shown and free space highlighted as two separate colors. We can see in this image here that the robot, highlighted in blue, maps directly to the robot on the map equivalent that shows free space and where obstacles are. A map showing kind of free space and where obstacles are is known as an occupancy grid, and it reflects not only where the robot is, but also where the robot can move. And this grid is often stored in a matrix, or basically a large set of rows and columns representing space, equivalent to the grid image on the left. Now, what do coordinates look like in a 2D robot map? It's common in mobile robots. So just how we have latitude and longitude for a map, we also have some coordinate system in our robot map as well. And this coordinate is often referred to as pose. Now the pose for a mobile robot could be something like the angle or direction that it's facing relative to some starting point, as well as its offset or X and Y position, uh, how far it's moved from that starting point in its map. Now, how do these robot maps actually get created? So, a common technique to create a robot map is known as SLAM, or Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. We can visualize SLAM on the right. Notice as the robot moves around the space, it uses its sensors to both avoid obstacles and remember uh, key features that it's seen, such as walls and hallways. Using these features, it's able to determine where it is in its map that it's created. Now, the term we use to refer to how a robot knows where it is, or where a robot is in its map that it's created, is localization. Now, localization is going to give us basically the information about where a robot is, what its pose is inside of the map. Now, you can think of this as a problem where if we were to blindfold someone and put them in a room and then take the blindfold off. It would take them a few seconds to look around the room and understand where exactly they are based on things they see such as signs or windows to figure out where they are in a building. In the same way, a robot also, when it initially begins trying to identify where it is within its map, will look around using its sensor such as a LiDAR, such as the blue laser scans in this example GIF above me. And as it moves around, it sees what kind of features are in its environment, such as open hallways or a closed set of rooms with potentially chairs or tables. And as it moves around, it can have a better idea or a greater probability of where it is based on what it sees around it. Because if there are walls nearby, you know you can't be in an open hallway. Now this uh, method by which the robot can look at its environment and determine what it sees to rule out where it possibly could be uh, is a high-level description of a technique known as particle filtering, which is kind of visualized on the right with the red particles reflecting probabilities of where the robot could be. And as the robot moves around, it can hone in and improve the probabilities to really uh, get a high degree of accuracy to where it is within its map. 
Finally, I leave the question of what would a map of your classroom look like if it were translated into a 2D map for a robot? Feel free to leave any questions as always in the comments below, and I hope this lesson has managed to answer the question of how a robot knows where it is, using this idea of a map that it builds of its environment, using this technique known as SLAM, or simultaneous localization and mapping, with localization referring to, again, the robot's pose or its direction and offset from an original starting position inside of its map. And finally, using a technique known as particle filtering to get a good guess at where it is in its map based on what it sees around it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description below and check out the links as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. This video has been brought to you by Teach Kids Robotics. You can visit us at teachkidsrobotics.com to check out other information and blog posts regarding robotics. Additionally, we offer curated lists of STEM kits in order for you to try robotics at home. Check out the link in the description.